How's it guys? So here's a, a quick update. I've had a couple of guys ask me what's going on with the boat. But I haven't been really putting up videos. So let me do a quick update. So what I've done, uh, I think I might have put in the video before. So basically everything is in. Um, I'm busy with the gel coat work. So I've done the gunnels. I've done around the cooler box. There's the battery box. It's all done up there. I still got to do the insides with that color gray. Um, and also inside those cabinets will be the same color. So all the hatches are gray inside. Okay, that's all the all the hardware and stuff. So yeah, I'm uh, not too happy with how the gel coat work came out. It's actually quite a quite a mission to put it onto the brush and then try to get it nice and uh, even. So I've t put it on and I've taken it off twice already. Now I've given up. So how it ends up now is how it's going to stay. Unless it really bothers me, then I'll sand and polish it. But I don't think I'll do that. At the end of the day, it's a fishing boat. So yeah, you can see there's the transom. The jacket, nice and white. So this is all going to be the non-slip. Everywhere you don't see white. So yeah, let's go around here. And like I say, all that inside still got to be done with the grey. But for now, I'm going to do the non-skid. I'll probably only do it next week. You can actually see the brush lines there. But anyways. So yeah, that's the, the colour of the grey that's going to be in the hatches. Um, obviously the wind, this I did yesterday, it's nice and dry. But like I say, yes, the brush lines. It looks worse now because it's exactly like 12 o'clock. So the sun is shining directly down on it. But uh, I think the first few trips, I'll get over it. Once we uh, put some fish on deck in the new hatches, of course, we're going to have to christen those. I know when we bought the boat back in the day, a lot of, uh, it's like a superstition, bought some uh, Captain Morgan rum, and put some rum in the hatches for King Neptune. So yeah, we'll definitely be doing that to get the hatches ready for the amount of fish we're going to be putting in there. But yeah, that's that's where we are. There's the, the dry hatch for all the cameras and the, and the stuff. Dry clothes. And that's the fuel tank. Lockers. And then the lid, I still got a... I'm going to gel coat that. Because it's a, it's a grey colour, I want to make it white. So yeah, for those of you that are tuning in now for the first time, that is a cooler box, that over there is a battery box, and then I've put two fish hatches in the floor. I've basically rebuilt the whole boat. Transom's been redone, new scuppers, new drain holes. That's the main drain. That's the drain for the two hatches. Um, this is all new. It's been repainted. Let's see if we can go around the front. That hatch over there is lying in the boat. So it's all new. It's been repainted. I still got to do the bottom. But that, that won't be done now. Um, yeah, there's the, the hatch lid. That still needs to be sorted. That's all been repainted. All the stainless steel's been repolished. Um, new stickers. One of my subscribers, Diane and Joel, they sponsored all the stickers. Here's the, the name. Motors have also been redone. There's the, the lid. 
goes up there. Yo, the garage is a bit of a mess. Let me see if I can just show you the motors quickly. Okay, it's a bit uh, dark in here. But you can see uh, brand new linkages, steering, tiller arm, paint, everything has been redone. Um, you can see there's the new clamps. Um, what else? Yeah, the stickers also from Joel and uh, Diane. Garage is an absolute mess. So yeah, that's uh, this has also been redone. It's all new, uh, tilt brackets, new tilt tubes, um, everything's basically brand new. Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how they're looking. They're a bit dirty because they've been in the garage for the last probably two years. So yeah, that's where we, that's where we are. Okay, that's a picture after I removed the transom. There you can see, after I've removed the box and everything, you can see how rotten it actually was. You can actually see by the arrows there, there was three decks stacked on top of each other. So what they did is they just cut it out roughly and stacked it on top of each other. There you can see I started building the frame. You can see the transom is done there. Uh, I've removed all the wood and it's all been rebuilt with composites so it'll be a Nidoplast deck and uh, all the foam, all the structure is um, Marcel 80 core foam. There you can see what state the motors were in. Um, this was just before I started stripping to repaint them and then also I discovered I had a crack in the gearbox so I had to sort that out first. There's some uh, more framework, and then there's the the knuckles for the steering that are rebuilt, and then there we started pre prepping, and then there's uh, some priming work done. There's the tilt brackets primed. There they painted. There's the cowl also being sprayed. There I was pre-fitting the decals, and there you can see what the transom looked like before I painted it. And that was after, and that's the non-slip done on the edges, and that's what it looked like when we were done. So that's by the forward console there, by those cabinets that were also ripped out. You can see all the ribs there are non-existent. All they did is they filled the boat with foam. That's all they did. They cut out all the ribs. You'll see, I'm going to pan in on it now. Um, the ribs are basically just cut out roughly with a jigsaw and then they just fill the boat with foam you can see over there that's all that's left of it that little piece there so yeah it's come a long long way